Welcome! This is the fourth tutorial on the orthographic anisometric principles. This tutorial will have a more in-depth discussion and look at the first and third angle orthographic principles. In this tutorial we will make use of diagrams to explain first and third angle projection. Like in previous tutorials, we show this page to remind you of the first and third angle projection symbol the diagram for first and third angle, as well as first and third angle isometric symbol. We start our explanation by using a basic 3D isometric block as seen at the top right. At the top left of our screen we have the skeleton of the diagram in first angle orthographic projection. This is the complete diagram where we have the front, top, left and right view given to us. The black dots at the corners of the intersections at the margin lines indicate the starting point or in other words also named the anchor point for each of the views that we are going to draw. The right view is rarely used in the drawings that we do in school. At the bottom left hand side of our screen we see the orthographic views of the model placed in the front view, top view and left view with the projection lines also added and we also show the symbol for first angle orthographic drawings. In the middle of our screen we have taken a screenshot of each of the sides of our model and placed it at an angle of 90 degrees in its correct position on our diagram. The front view, the top view and the left view start from the anchor point as shown here. Referring back to previous tutorials where we have discussed the glass plane model, we are also going to take a quick look at why we are placing the top view at the bottom and the left view at the top right when we draw in first angle orthographic projection. Playing the animation you will see that we take the front view and we tilt it downwards in order to see the top view from where we are seated. It is as if you have tilted the front view on a hinge and tilted towards you to see the top view. If we look at the left view, it is as if you have placed hinges on the front view side and then tilted to the right hand side of our screen to see the left view. This is the reason why we draw the top view at the bottom and the left view on the top right hand side of our diagram. The glass plane model also illustrates this where we have taken the horizontal plane and flipped it downwards and taken the left view and swung it to the right hand side. This will open the different views of our 3D model. On this screen we discuss third angle orthographic projection. At the bottom right hand corner of our screen we see the top front and right view of the isometric block given in third angle. At the top left we have the skeleton diagram of our orthographic drawing. There we see the placement of the top view, the front view, the right view and left view of an orthographic drawing. In school we rarely make use of the left view in third angle although it may be asked if needed. Below the skeleton diagram we see a rough schematic of the top, front and right view given in its positions with construction lines that project from one view to the other and we also see the symbol for third angle orthographic projection. In the middle of our screen we have the snapshots of each of the sides of our model. The front view would be at the bottom left anchor to the dot as you can see there as an anchor point or starting point from where we will start the measurement for the front view, the top view above it where we have the anchor point where we start our measurements and at the bottom right hand side we have the right view also starting from the anchor point. Please note that each of these views are drawn from the margin lines and we have measured it from the anchor points. This will make sure that our drawing is not floating in each of the different sections of our diagram. 
On this screen, we refer back to previous tutorials where we discussed the placement of the three views in third angle of a graphic projection. We also refer to the shoebox explanation. The front view is at its fixed position. The top view of our shoebox needs to be cut loose and flipped upwards to see the top view from the front side. The right view or side view needs to be cut loose and then swung to the right hand side to see the right view from the front. We continue to explain our discussion on first angle of a graphic projection by using these examples given in the Great A Technology workbook. At the top right we see a basic isometric model with all of the views indicated on the model. At the bottom right we see a schematic view of that model given in orthographic drawings and we see the symbol for first angle orthographic projection. Note the placement of each of the views on the schematic drawing. We highlight the front view of our model on the 3D image on the left as well as the front view and the shape that it will give on our front view in the 2D orthographic schematic preview. The top view as highlighted here you can see the different levels of the top view and lastly the left view with the different levels of the left view indicated in red. Finally we take a last look at third angle orthographic projection. On the right of your screen you see a basic 3D isometric wooden block. At the top left of the screen we see a schematic isometric drawing of that model and we have labeled each of the levels of the model. At the bottom left we see the placement of each of the individual views given in 2D orthographic where the top front and right view is indicated on a diagram in its correct position. We also indicate the third angle orthographic projection symbol. When we highlight in green the front view of our model, we also see the green on our front view in the 2D diagram for our orthographic drawing. The top view is indicated in blue and we notice the two levels of our model on the right hand side. But seen from the top, they appear as to be one level. And lastly, we look at the right view, the side view of our model and we indicate it with red. If you have enjoyed watching this tutorial on orthographic and isometric principles, please visit my website frokita.com and find many more other tutorials based on the Great A Technology and EGD workbook. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the tutorial.